What's you guys welcome to game today in today's video we're going to be showing you how to make trailer mud flaps we're going to be using mod studio 2 as you can see up on here and uh let's get going once we dive in to the mod files So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to where our mod studio files are and if i just open that up these are our mod studio 2 files and i'm not sure where you got yours say that we would put some somewhere different but wherever they are you want to go into there and you want to come into data so what we're looking for is the templates mod projects and we're going to do ets ones on this and then i'll do some ets ones in another video ets2 come up to templates and then come down to trailer mud flap and there you can see we've got the different ones now this here mud flap icon is the icon for when you put it into mod studio 2 so when it shows up in game and we'll show you that how to change that later on but what we want is this one here so you click on template scs click on that and we're going to open it with paint.net there we can see now this is the back side this is the bit you see and this is the inside of the mud flap so you know we're nothing on this so what we're going to do with this quite simply we're going to add a layer we're going to come up to our rectangle tool at the top draw a rectangle over that and then we're going to move our paint bucket tool on a primary color of black we're going to click inside I'm just going to do that one black and then what we're going to do we'll deselect the first one and then we're going to duplicate that layer so once we've duplicated the layer we're going to use the move selected pixels tool and drag it up put it in place and then we'll deselect that okay so now we're going to want to put something on here and that could be anything so i'm going to add a layer where you could do a white text layer so if we change the color to white and we did text we could do let's do the size a bit bigger than that 108 we could do uh, as an example you're too close we'll come up we'll move that into position I'm, I'm flying through this as quickly as possible so now we've got our it could say test obviously you can do nice things and stuff and put pictures in and all the rest of it but we're going to go with your two close you're going to come up here to your file button and we're going to go save as now i'm going to save this as a, a pdn to start with and we'll save it to the desktop click that job done and then what we want to do is come back up again you know the procedure by now come down save as this time i want to save it as a png okay flatten your layers there we go that's our trailer mud flap right which is on the desktop so we can now close out of paint.net and what we're going to do is we're going to open up mod studio 2 new project it's an ets2 project okay mod manifest so the mod name is going to be too close by me 1.0 now it's a tuning part as i understand it now your icon unless you've obviously made your own icon i'm just going to use the default for now little tick comes up that's okay text which is mainly used if you want to put this into a uh, into a uh, workshop or anything like that okay so we've done that and now we're going to come up we're going to add a template we want to trail a mud flap and we're going to double click on that you see it comes up in orange straight away now the reason for that is because you have to do each one individually so i'm going to click box trailer but if you wanted to do for your flatbed trailer as well you would have to add another template for the flatbed then add another template like so right come across to basic mud flap internal now don't forget this must be lowercase and no gaps okay too close same for the mud flap name because i can't bother to change it and a minimum of one pound 
unlock at level zero image now this is your image that you just created in paint.net so you want to come across mine's on my desktop i'm going to drag it put it in there we go now the icon you're going to have to browse for the default on this okay so it's in your mod studio too you go where we went and got the template from in data mod projects ets2 templates trailer mud flap and you can see the icon there just click on that press open up she comes now you can, obviously you can change it make your own one okay now that should be everything now i'm going to save it as too close i'm going to save it to my desktop as an ms2 and i'm going to come back and i'm going to export the mod and if all's well it'll export all right and this will come up as an scs file so we'll call it too close because i'm just keeping it nice and simple but obviously you'd fill these in a little bit better than i am all right i'm going to save it onto the desktop too close click save export the mod and if we go to show it in folder it's probably right down the bottom there it is right down here okay so we'll cross out of that then we're going to close mod studio 2 all right next thing to do open up your file explorer then we're going to come to documents your truck mod and then we're just going to drag him our too close scs file shut that down open up the game Once we're in Mod Manager, there you can see too close. So we'll just add that in. Confirm our changes. Continue the game. Now you would normally go to your trailer that you've done, but I'm going to go to Vehicle Browser. Experiment with trailers. I'm going to switch to this. I'm going to switch to Accessories. Come to the back of it trailer mud flap there you can see at the top is my too close there you go you're too close and you can see that on the other side is just plain you, that would have been the bottom template there okay guys so that is how you do a trailer mud flap for ets so i hope you enjoyed that guys and uh, i hope it's been helpful and uh, I'll catch you in another one. Bye for now.